went through the list of this week's new comic books, there was nothing that really intrigued me other than maybe the second printing of Spider-Man 55, but I'm glad I didn't buy it because everybody's got 15,000 copies. So I figured I'd take the time to make a Remember Me. You want to know what my three picks are for this one? Stick around. Well, welcome back, family, and thank you for sticking around and joining me for yet another Remember Me. If anybody is new to this segment, what I try to do is look at past prices from six months, a year ago, at books that were hot or trending, and uh, these are the ones that we said, just wait for it to come back down. And I'm trying to remind you, these are the ones that are have come down. This is now a better time to buy these. So I pick one modern book, one bronze slash copper book, and one silver age. So... Uh, I've got my three put my three books. Yeah, I'm gonna play hockey. My three picks, and if you want to know what they are, here we go. Okay, first, starting with the new is of course the modern books. I'm going with NYX number three. First appearance of X23, Laura. Um, this has been a very hot book. It always has been. It'll always retain its value. But with all the mutant talk, and the X-Men coming, and the Fantastic Four coming, and Peter Parker. X-23 has kind of fallen off of the radar, and a lot of people have been, you know, the prices have come down on this because people are specking on other books. They can't buy every book at every moment. And this one's dropped a little bit in price. So what I'm going to start doing with this particular segment is I'm going to tr I try to go a little bit more in-depth and tell you not, not only the book, but the grade I think their best value is. So on the NYX, I'm going with a 9.6. I would love to have a 9.8. I'm not going to ask anybody to spend that kind of money. If you want to go for it, please, by all means, go for it. But I just don't feel comfortable telling people to. So comparing the sales data uh, from September of October this year, uh, it was selling for between $500 and $700 for a 9.6. There was one sale, as you can see there, uh, for $490. But the overall, if you see the prices that are listed there, was $500 to $700. Uh, da -da 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 -da. If you look at the last, the last 9.6 sale though was in December, late December, and it went for 4.75. This book is trending downwards, and again, I would stay away from the buy it nows, but this is a great negotiation point. So if you see somebody on Instagram or uh, any place that is selling this book, you can point to the most recent sales being under $500 and try to get this one, you know, for roughly, yeah, roughly 100 to 150 dollars less than it was trending for. Uh, just three, four months ago. And this is too good a character for the Marvel comic universe to not incorporate her when Wolverine and the mutants come into come into play. So this is a book that has tremendous upside. Moving on to the next book, we're going into the bron uh, Bronze Slash Copper Age, and I'm going all the way back to 1973 with Shazam number one. Now, first off, just it's an iconic cover. Everybody knows the cover. Um, I'm recommending a 9.4, still a very solid grade, especially for the year, but you're not hitting into those crazy high prices. Um, it's the first appearance of Captain Marvel and well, Captain Marvel Jr. and Mary Marvel since the Golden Age, and they retell the origin. But again, everybody sees the cover and they know the book. And a 9.4, like I said, is a good, solid, near-mint grade, you know, so near-mint minus grade. Anything above a 9 when you're talking about a book that is almost 50 years old. It's pretty good. September, October, this book was selling for 132 to 150. The last three sales, though, between December and January, 89 to 120. People have actually gotten this book for 88 dollars and 80 cents. Okay, this is a book that has definitely fallen off of people's radars. Um, I don't think they're ever they're going to use the character anytime soon. I think that the movie bombed enough that they're not going to make a sequel. But it's still, it's an iconic book. It's almost 50 years old. And what's going to happen in uh, 2023 when it hits 50 years old and it has that anniversary? Will it spark up again? Possibly. Again, no, it's still an iconic book that you can get for Silver, Silver Age appearance of Captain Marvel. 50-year-old book, Honor 100 Books. I think that's a great one to get. Um, the next one is, we're right in between movies. We're right in the middle of all the movies that are they're talking about coming out and they're forgetting about certain ones that are coming up. And that is Marvel Super Heroes number 18, first appearance of the Guardians of the Galaxy. We know Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be coming out, uh, part three. Uh, we don't know what 
is going to be the storyline or who's going to be the focus. A lot of people have uh, speculated on it being Rocket. That's why the whole uh, first appearance of Rocket has gone up so much. I'd still wait on that one a little bit. But Guardians of the Galaxy as a whole, if they make any kind of appearance in Thor Love and Thunder, which I think they will, this book will go up a bit. When they, we start talking about getting closer to the Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3 movie, this book is going to go up again. Uh, January 2020, I'm recommending a 6.5 because some of the higher grades are really out of reach. But a 6.5 is still a solid book, okay? Especially when you're talking about a book that is now over 50 years old. Anything that's older than me, I wish I was a 6.5. Okay, let's be honest. <laughs> so January 2020, a year ago, this book was selling, had two sales of this grade, 325 and 330. Very consistent. Two sales in January 2021, 264 and 270. So the first appearance of the Guardians of the Galaxy has dropped 60 bucks since last year at a 6.5. I think that's right for the picking, and we know, as I said, as this, those characters, Guardians of the Galaxy, gets more into the limelight again once we get past all the COVID and all the movies that are on back hole start to come out, and we get more into Phase 5. We're going to know want to know what's going on with Gamora. I mean, there's, there's still so much story to be told there. That once that starts, everybody's going to say, oh, yeah, Guardians, yeah, that's coming out soon. Boom, this book is start, going to start to tick up. And this is a great time to pick that one up. So those are my three picks. So what do you think? Do you think I made three decent picks? I think I give you a little bit of a bonus while I'm at it. And uh, it's kind of sort of like a what's in the box. Because I picked up a book that I was discussing with a friend, and we both think that this book has got a lot of potential. Now, I'll let you know right now there is a spoiler for... The Wanda, the, the uh, WandaVision series, episode three. So if you have not seen that yet, don't watch any further, okay? So, anyway, I like to be able to open this up anyway because I want to check to make sure the condition's okay. In WandaVision part three, they have the birth of the, the kids. And we've been trying to figure out which kids they're going to be. Are they one from the 1 in 12 limited series? Are they the, the Vision, Vim, and Bam? And as it turned out, they very clearly named the child Tommy. They made it a point because they were kind of discussing and arguing the name, what the name of the child was going to be. And the uh, Young Avengers, number 10. I picked this up at a 9.6. 9.6 is a really good value. 9.8 is way up there. 375, I think they're asking for it now. And this is more like 100. So one quarter of the price for a 9.6. Usually they're about 50%. So I think this one's going to move up. Um, this is the first appearance of Wanda's son, Tommy, uh, in the in comic book form. They made such a point of naming that the kid in the TV show. I don't think they would have done that unless they were planning on that character coming out of this TV show in the long run and joining the Young Avengers, which we already know we got Kate. We, we you know, um, in the Hawkeye show, already um, cast as Haley Steinfeld. You, you, they're putting these Young Avengers together. We know that, okay? Because the Robert Downey Juniors and the Chris Evans and all the people that are playing uh, Mark Ruffalo, they're not going to be running around with gray hair, <laughs> okay? They have to make the next generation of Young Avenger, uh, of, of the Avengers. They're making such a point of uh, the, the kid's name being Tommy. This is the Tommy. This is the first appearance of Tommy. So if you can, this is the book you want to look out for. Um, if you can get it in the raw, it's actually the raw prices are not bad at all. 20 to $30. And if you can find someone and check it and make sure it's a good... If, if you can get a 9.8 on it, you're looking at over, well over $300. So keep an eye for it. I haven't seen one in my store and there's no shows yet. <laughs> so anyway... Those are my three plus one bonus pick for Remember Me. I'm so glad that I remembered to make this show. And uh, I actually have a lot of fun doing this. But hopefully you had fun too. So, But if you did have fun, please, I encourage you to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Okay? Because look at the fun you're missing on a regular basis. Uh, click on notifications so I'll pop up whenever I have a new video. And if you can, share it with a friend. You know, recommend me to somebody. The faster we grow the channel, the faster we get to the milestones, and the faster I can give away some of these books. Okay? So, again, thank you so much for joining me. And as always, I'm out.